If you're anything like me, when the sun starts to shine, I gravitate towards the lighter, brighter, spring summery colours in my wardrobe. And one of those colours that is the perfect spring colour is classic white. Now we've done a little bit of white in the last couple of weeks. We did the white blazer and we did white jeans. And today we're doing the good old white summer dress. And I've got two styles to show you today, a classic style and then a more on-trend style. And you've probably started to see white dresses infiltrate your social media feeds. They are very fresh and very modern. And again, it's a color that's very classic. It's timeless and it's ageless. But the thing with white is that it can be also quite intimidating for many of us because for a lot of you, the first instinct is how the hell am I going to keep this clean? So I've got a few tips to help you choose the right dress in terms of wash and wear and really making sure that if you're going to invest in white, that it's easy to maintain and easy to clean. But also some little tips about how to wear white in terms of wearing it back with your knickers and your right undergarments. So let's talk about what to wear underneath white because that's actually really important. And I think many of you might think that white is the best color to wear under white. Well, I'm going to demonstrate that for you in a moment and show you why that's not the case. White fabric, whether it is a cotton like what I'm wearing, a linen, viscose, silk, it tends to be very transparent. So when you wear white under white, it's actually very visible, like you can see on me today. So underneath this, I have actually got a white cotton slip. But can you see that the slip is very visible underneath my white dress? So you can see where the slip finishes, so you can see the hemline, but you can also see the top of the slip here. So white is actually not the best colour to wear under a white dress, under a white shirt, under a white pair of jeans or pants. Nude underwear is the best colour to wear and I'm going to take off this slip. I already do have my nude knickers and bra on and I'm now going to put on a nude slip and show you the difference. So I've taken off the white slip and I've put on a nude slip and I think it is fair to say, ladies, that you cannot see the slip whatsoever underneath my dress. You can't see any of the lines, you can't see the hem, it literally just disappears underneath the dress, which is exactly why you should wear nude knickers and nude bras under white, because therefore you will not see it. Unless of course you wanna show off your bra and knickers, then wear something completely contrasting. But if you don't want people to know what you're wearing underneath white, stick with nude. So I'm going to use two very different dresses from my wardrobe today to create some looks for you. The first one is the traditional shirt dress. So this is a lovely button up collared shirt dress from Jack and Jack last summer. It's 100% cotton and it's got this lovely drawstring waist so you can pull it in and create a nice A-line or if you've been out for a very long ladies lunch, you can loosen it up and have it a bit more casual. Both styles are very casual. What I love about a shirt dress is its versatility to wear it in lots of different ways, which I will be showing you. And my second dress I'm going to feature is a bit of a newbie. It'll be debuting here on IGTV. And this is the Zara dress. So I managed to score this, um, I popped my name down for it. Um, it's got a lovely texture. This is just a polyester, so it's not a cotton. So I'll probably take this to the dry cleaners when I need to wash it. It's got the very on-trend sort of balloon puffy sleeves. It's got the very exaggerated uh, frill at the bottom. And it's also got a V-neck, which as you know, is not really me quite as much, but I might do a little bit of a, a Trini moment and spin it around. Oh yes, I might give that a go. So this has sort of got that smock style, very oversized, not as much shape as the shirt dress. So two very different looks. I'm probably going to put together some more casual looks, but you know what? I have actually got some heels out here and I'm going to show you a few different ways to style the white dress for spring summer.
white dresses to get you inspired for spring summer. But the question is, are you ladies ready to add a white dress into your wardrobe? Let me know. And I'll just clarify, I am wearing my nude bra and knickers under this dress, but my bra has a little lace trim, which is what you can see through the dress. But hopefully you can't see anything else I'm wearing underneath. And a final little tip for wearing white, and I think particularly for us southern staters coming out of a long winter in hibernation, when I'm wearing white, particularly on the lower body, so a white dress, white jeans, white pants, I do like to put a little bit of fake tan on my legs. So even if it's just the knees down, which I've done today, uh, it just means that I'm not looking like a ghost, basically coming out of Melbourne winter. So that's it for today. Uh, let me know what you think of the dress worn this way, which is obviously backwards, or did you prefer with the V-neck at the front? I think I can do both. It gives me two very different looks. And stay well, and we'll see you soon.